Let's build an app in four minutes. We'll start by using our template, then we'll add the appropriate frameworks. First parse, then Facebook, and the appropriate resources. Once we're done with that, we'll modify the plist file to use the Facebook app ID and the Facebook display name. We'll then target our application for iOS 6. Let's go into the app delegate, and let's modify the, P the login controller for parse to use the Facebook email and user likes permissions. Let's run our application. We get the Facebook login authorization screen, and we see that our application is working. Now let's add a new view controller to look at all of our foxes. We'll use the PF Query table view controller from Parse. We'll add in some stub code to handle our tab icons. And then now we'll set our Parse class name for this PF Query table view controller to be the class name of our object, which is Fox. Then we'll go ahead and add some additional Parse variables. Let's modify our app delegate to use and recognize this view controller that we've just created. Once we're done with that, let's run our application. We can see a different table for our foxes and we can see that one fox has already been created. We can also modify our table query and customize it. So we can use the PF query method, query for table, and inside it we can customize what we want our query to look like. We create a query for a particular class name. And in this particular case, what we want to do is we want to create a query whose results are ordered in ascending, in ascending value. And specifically, in ascending value by the name column. Okay. So we're done with that, so now let's add a new view controller to create a new fox. We'll put it in the appropriate location, and we'll drag and drop some controls onto the Design Surface and Interface Builder to create our UI. Now that we're done with that, let's wire up the outlets and the actions. In this view controller, what we want to do is allow a user to specify a name, upload a photo, and then save the fox that they've found. We also want to make sure we dismiss the keyboard. Let's add in all of the stub code that we've created beforehand to manage our camera. And then when the save button is pressed, we can then use the PF object file to create an object with class name fox. And then we can specify the different values for each of the columns. For example, the name goes in the name field. And if we've got a photo, let's first grab the image representation of that photo in NSData format, stick that inside of a file, and then set the file in the column for image. Once we're done, we can save the, save the object in the background. And then remove all the view controllers once we're completed. Now let's run our application and let's see what it looks like. We've got a new fox. We'll create a new fox with a picture of me. And you can see that it's now created inside of Parse. That's your app in four minutes.